Today I'm in Hobart and obviously I live in Hobart and today I came out uh, to try some Vietnamese in Hobart and we have a banh mi shop in Hobart which is quite good and uh, I'm joined with my colleague, work colleague Christopher Peters and uh, we are going to try some banh mi. When I was trying banh mi with Chris in Hobart I thought that maybe I should share our stories of Vietnam travel. We went to Vietnam in 2019 and we had a fascinating time in Vietnam. We only had like a week and we visited Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi, where it was just extraordinary. So I thought I'll make some video out of it and share in between as we go along with our one me today. Vietnam located in Southeast Asia, is known for its rich history, diverse culture, and breathtaking landscapes. The country endured a very difficult period during the Vietnam War, achieving reunification in 1975. Today, Vietnam is a rapidly developing nation, celebrated for its vibrant cities, delicious cuisine, and warm hospitality. During our stay in Ho Chi Minh City, we took a day trip to Mekong Delta. While in Hanoi, we had a chance to visit Halong Bay and also we visited Trang and Cape Systems. So if you watch this video until the end, you will see all of that. Plus we'll also review the Ban Mi in Hobart. This place called Collins Court and it's off Collins Street in Hobart. And you see all these graffitis, beautifully decorated graffitis just across this alleyway very nice eating area and there are a lot of shops and uh, quite a few shops and obviously this ban mi store and yeah it's a very nice place to eat in hobart got my char grill ban mi which looks delicious i took the deal with uh, like 20 dollar you have chips and this ban mi and this drink and chris what you have Mushroom ah, okay. Chris has this mushroom vegan banh mi. It looks delicious. And this peach, peach iced tea. Peach iced tea. Okay. I think it will be delicious. We'll report back. As we're trying Vietnamese food here in Hobart today and making this video. So I thought first I'll bring two different dishes, two different delicacies, the Vietnamese delicacies that you must try while in Vietnam. One is pho and the second one is cold coffee. Vietnamese cold coffee. Pho is a traditional Vietnamese noodle soup that has gained international popularity. It typically consists of rice noodles flavored broth made with spices like cinnamon and star anise and is often served with thinly sliced beef or chicken. Topped with fresh herbs, brin sprouts and lime, pho is a beloved dish known for its aromatic broth and delicious combination of textures. One of Vietnam's signature beverages is Ca Phe Suda, which translates to Vietnamese iced coffee with sweetened condensed milk. Not to mention how many cold coffee, Vietnamese cold coffee we had in Vietnam, it was our favorite. Uh, they gave some mayonnaise sauce and this char grill uh, chicken looks yummy. And the chips also very nice. Chris, we can share the chips. They look good. Yeah, they look good. And yeah. Ho Chi Minh City, formerly known as Saigon, is Vietnam's largest metropolis and a bustling economic hub. Renowned for its dynamic street life, French colonial architecture and vibrant markets, the city seamlessly blends tradition with modernity. It stands a symbol of Vietnam's resilience and rapid development, offering visitors a captivating mixture of history, culture, and contemporary energy. Anywhere in Vietnam, we experienced millions of bikers. I think Vietnam has more bikes than the population. We had a great time in Ho Chi Minh City, but the highlights was visit to the Mekong Delta, the rice bowl of Vietnam.
A Mekong Delta tour offers a captivating exploration of the lush and intricate network of waterways in southern Vietnam. Typically departing from Ho Chi Minh City, these tours take you to the heartland of the Mekong Delta, known as Rice Bowl of Vietnam. Navigate through the narrow canals on traditional wooden boats, provide an up-close view of the Delta's scenic landscape and local life. We visited a local crocodile conservation area and some other wildlife conservation areas as well before we were offered lunch. Look at the menu. They had Vietnamese curried snake. Obviously, we didn't go there. We had traditional Vietnamese deep fried fish. The whole fish was fried, even with the scales. And that was really delicious with chili. We were also greeted with mesmerizing music by local singers. <laughs> Exploring the Delta's islands, known for its tropical fruit orchards, traditional villages and cottage industries, we had the chance to taste fresh local produces. We also visited local workshops to see the traditional process of making coconut candies, rice papers and other handmade crafts, providing insight to the Delta's cottage industries. <laughs> Ho Chi Minh City offers a vibrant nightlife and bustling markets. The city comes alive after dark with a variety of bars, nightclubs and rooftop lounges. For markets, Benton Market is a must visit. This iconic market is in the heart of District 1, known for its bustling atmosphere and wide arrays of goods including clothing, souvenirs, fresh produce and local delicacies. What's this? Oh, okay. This is a Vietnamese note. It's like, how much is it? Half, half, a, million. half a million dollar. Half a million dollar? Or? <laughs> half a million? Oh, 63 Australian. 63 Australian dollar. So Chris has recently visited Vietnam. So we are celebrating his return, safe return to Hobart. And uh, okay. <laughs> so do they accept Vietnamese currency in Australia? <laughs> Maybe they they do in some areas. <laughs> From Ho Chi Minh City, we went to Hanoi. We took a short flight. Hanoi, the capital city of Vietnam, is a captivating blend of history, culture, and modernity. Hanoi is steeped in history, evident in its well-preserved old quarters, ancient temples, and historic landmarks. The Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum, Temple of Literature, One Pillar Pagoda are must visit sites. Our hotel was just extraordinary, but the furnitures were even exquisite. Look at these wooden chairs, they were grand. Sitting on the rooftop restaurant of the hotel and trying hot French crepes in the morning was a memorable start of the day. Hanoi's French Quarter reflects the city's colonial history with wide boulevards, French-inspired architecture and beautiful landmarks. It was a truly an authentic experience. The famous train track in Hanoi is known as the Hanoi Train Street or Train Street. It's a unique and popular attraction where train tracks run through a densely populated residential neighborhood in the old quarter of Hanoi. The train tracks are just a few feet away from the houses and it's fascinating to witness the daily life of the locals as they go about their routines with the train passing through.
I wish I took some videos in this place. Ho Chi Minh's residence, is also known as Ho Chi Minh's mausoleum, is located in Ba Din Square in Hanoi, the capital of Vietnam. Look at these grand cars that Ho Chi Minh had. It's a beautifully preserved museum which can take whole day to visit. The Ho Chi Minh mausoleum in Hanoi stands as a solemn monument honoring the iconic Vietnamese leader Ho Chi Minh. This imposing structure serves as the final resting place for Uncle Ho, where visitors can pay their respect to this historic figure and witness a symbol of Vietnam's historical and political significance. Chris is trying his first bite of mushroom banh mi. Is it good? Yeah, okay. So a very mouthful. A trip to Halong Bay is a breathtaking journey to one of Vietnam's most iconic natural wonders. Halong Bay is renowned for its emerald waters and thousands of limestone cars and islets that create a spectacular seascape. The bay's beauty is enhanced by misty mornings and stunning sunsets. Most visitors explore Halong Bay on a cruise. We took a day cruise. Although these cruises offer a range of experiences, from a day trip to multi-day excursions, cruising through the bay allows you to visit the unique limestone formations and visit some of the bay's notable cave systems and stalactite and stalagmite formations. Lunch on board the cruise was great. They offered a selection of seafood to try while we cruise through Halong Bay. We opted for a boat ride at Halong Bay and that was a guided tour through a cape system at Halong Bay. It was fascinating. I tried this before, but they have improved the recipe, I think. It's tasty. Mm. How's the chili level? It's not at all hot. I think it's very Australian. Obviously, we eat hot food, but in Vietnam, it will be much hotter. I think they will put a lot of chilies, but I don't find any chili here, but it's tasty. The chargal chicken is really nice, and with some nice chips, they're always delicious. Halong Bay is dotted with fascinating caves, each with its own unique features. Heaven Palace Cave and Surprise Cave, these are the two most popular caves that we visited. They're fascinating. Lighting inside the caves were just making this whole experience extraordinary. All these caves feature impressive stalactite and stalagmite structures. We had a wonderful time. It was really cold inside. I'm eating this um, charcoal chicken banh mi and it's really good, it's really delicious. And um, the chickens are extraordinarily well done and I'm really enjoying it. The bread is very crunchy and I'm getting crumbed all over my body, which is a good indication of a perfect banh mi. And the chips are also very nice, delicious. Hope you're enjoying our Vietnam story so far. In this part of the story, we'll take you to the fascinating Cape system of Trang An. Before that, we visited some shrines, some pagodas, and some temples. They were mesmerizing. But the most interesting, most daring experience that we had in Trang An was the sailing through the, navigating through the Cape systems. We were buckled up and ready to sail through the Cape system. But first of all, hats off to these ladies who were rowing these wooden boats 
and navigating us through these narrow cave systems. They were inspirational. Exploring the caves of Tranang can be an exhilarating experience, as the ancient limestone curse landscape in houses a network of caves. <laughs> Some caves in Trangan are quite dark, and the only illumination comes from your guide's flashlights. Navigating through these dark passages can evoke a sense of mystery and anticipation. In this part of the video, I didn't actually edit. I kept it almost uncut, just to give you the experience, the real experience that you might have if you go through these cave systems on these small, tiny wooden boats. You are only getting a highlights of our experience. Although we went through this experience for three hours and went through 11 caves. <laughs> These caves often have narrow channels that boats must navigate. The feeling of passing through this tight space surrounded by towering limestone walls can be both thrilling and intimidating. Are you enjoying this ride? At times we were just too scared and it went for three hours. At times we felt that we shouldn't have done this tour. The natural acoustics of caves create echoing sounds, amplifying every drip of water and boatsman paddle. That gives you a true sense of isolation and makes you a bit scared. <laughs> to be honest, we're very glad that the tour ended at last after three hours of grueling experience. Now, after a few years, we enjoy this memory. But at that time, it was one of the most scariest thing we ever done. Obviously, we finished our banh mi's and that was really delicious. And as you can see, after one hour, it's quite full now. There are a lot of people having lunch. And so, Chris, how was your banh mi? How much are you going to score out of 10? I'll probably give it a 6. 6? Why? Explain. Because you're from Vietnam recently and you have good value to explain. Yeah, well in Vietnam it costs $1.20. And here it costs $13. And it's a bit tasty over in Vietnam. Right, okay. So it's it's more of a price thing than uh, the, the taste. And the taste. And the taste, okay. And uh, mine one is very good obviously i didn't go to vietnam recently so i can't really comment but yeah i i, I enjoyed the food was good but uh, I com accompanied with chris's time it was even better the charlie tasted better with chris what do you score uh, I'll, I'll give seven and a half <laughs> so friends this was our vietnam experience hope you like this storytelling and this taste of vietnam and this ban mi Thanks for watching our travel videos.